I've, I'm using the same strop that I've used since 19, early 80 something. It's on, it's, it's a piece of leather from Tandy. It's so leather that I, when I was making sandals back in the seventies, it was a le leftover piece of leather that I used for the soles on a sandal. So it's uh, it's a kind of a thicker piece of, of leather. Uh, it's stuck on a piece of pine with contact cement. It was a little bit longer. I, I, I noticed that people yesterday were saying that a four inch strop will work and, and they will. Um, I believe that when I can make one long sweep on a 12 inch strop, that equals three short sweeps on a four inch strop. So I think from a practical standpoint, a longer strop may save you a little bit of time in the long run. When I'm stropping my knife, I probably will sit and I'll probably put 10 or 15 strokes the length of this strop on one side, flip it over and do the same, about the same number of strokes on the other side. I'll go back and do maybe another eight or 10 on each side, maybe three or four on each side. And, and that's kind of, I don't necessarily count while I'm doing it, but uh, sometimes I do it more, sometimes I do it less. What I'll do, see, this is getting kind of, kind of grungy and uh the, the zam when you put it on there is kind of a you can see some lighter areas there's a groove cut in the in the leather up here because i thought it made a more efficient strop for my gouges um to have a groove that they would fit in and uh it's i've not used it for a long time because I use wheels for, for my gouges now. But uh, about every year or two, year and a half, two years, I'll scrape as much of this off from here using an old putty knife. I'll scrape as much off as I can. I'll go back to a belt sander. I'll flip this thing over and I'll resurface it just bzz, bzz, a couple of times. When I do that, I'm down to just the leather, like when it started out. I'll take some leather oil. So I'll use, uh, I've got a can of Red Wing boot oil that I've had forever. Um, you can go to sporting goods department in, uh, Pick up a, a little bottle of glove oil for a baseball mitt. Same thing, it's made for leather. I've never used saddle soap, but you might be able to. But I just put a little bit of leather in there, just a, a few drops, and then rub it in real good with my fingers. That just kind of conditions the leather so it doesn't dry out and fall apart. Once I've got that oil condition in the leather. Uh, so it's just a couple of little drops over the entire surface of the straw. Once I've got that conditioned, I'll take a, a stick of Zam or I'll go over to my, my sharpening wheels where I put a, a cake of Zam on the wheel and excess tends to fly off and get all over the inside of the sharpener. I'll get some of that, crunch it up really good work it into my, work it into my strop, or I'll take an old knife and scrape it off from a block and just get that Zam on there. Um, the reason I went to Zam to begin with was uh, the strops that were available from the wood supplier locally was a, a compound that was mixed in with some Vaseline to apply and it would get all over everything. If you put the strop in your toolbox, it was getting all over. So you had to put it into a, a plastic bag to keep it from getting on everything. Uh, the Zam 
didn't seem to get all over everything as much as as some of the other products. So that's why I went with that, and I've and I've stayed with it. Um, I won a couple of free cakes of Zam, and between that and a block that I bought, you could go to a lapidary supply and buy Zam, and it comes like in an ingot that's about. I don't know, maybe two by inch and a half by two by 12 inches long. Looks like an ingot. And uh, between that and a couple of free cakes that I've won at, at a carving show or something, uh, I've not had to buy Zam in 20 years. I've still got some. So it, it lasts for a long time. It probably goes faster on the wheels than anything else because you, as you apply it to a spinning wheel, it grinds it down pretty quick. But that's, that's my take on stropping and sharpening. 